Jim Howard was just a kid when a church attack changed his life forever. My dad was so mad at the deacon that was helping us out, he took a gun out and shot and killed him. Now Howard teaches churches how to survive an active shooter. Right behind me inside of the Venice Community Center, there are close to 300 residents and leaders learning how to ensure safety inside of our local churches. The church safety and security training is being led by Suncoast resident Jim Howard. Howard was just 16 years old when his father shot and killed a deacon of a church in Texas. Since then, He's devoted his life to learn how to identify Those warning signs. Domestic violence are often not taken seriously enough, sometimes with devastating consequences. It's not just between um, the victim and the perpetrator. It spills out into that uh, victim's family. It spills out into work colleagues. Um, it spills out into the public. In 1970, when I was 16 years old, my father stepped outside of a church and shot and killed one of the deacons that was helping my family because of domestic issues that we were having. After a church service, my father shot and killed a deacon outside of a Baptist church in a small town of Glen Rose, Texas. That was 50 years ago today. Uh, a lot of y'all know that we took a trip uh, to Texas in July. We went out to Sutherland Springs because Julie Workman, who came and talked at our conference, her son, uh, Chris, who was shot and injured and paralyzed from the waist down, they had a fun drive for him to help. Uh, they're, they're building a house for him. So it was very kind of important to us because we had gotten to know Julie and we had really just, uh, you know, become really close friends. And so Wendy and I and the girls uh, decided that we were going to drive out to Texas and we were going to, you know, go to... Um, uh, this this uh, fundraiser for Chris and we also decided that after we got finished with uh, Sutherland Springs that we were going to go up to Glen Rose, Texas where everything had happened so while uh, we were planning for the trip I had friended one of the the daughters of the deacon the the, the man that my dad had shot and killed and I told her that we were coming and I would really like to get back together and kind of meet really truly for the first time uh you know since since the incident had happened i no nobody really thought about it being 50 years ago we realized that we've all been put through a lot and that that it was just one of these things of where we just had to continue to go on and and a lot of y'all know my story and and how my life just really i mean by the grace of god I, I made it through where, how I did. My brothers made it through. You know, it was one of these things where I, I look back and I think about how blessed we are that all of, you know, the three oldest boys went into the police department and all three of us retired. And my youngest brother is a minister of music and, and works in churches. How did we do that? How did we do that? And I can tell you that it was only through the grace of God. From that unthinkable moment, Jim Howard's life has come full circle. He spent more than 35 years in law enforcement and today teaches churches, big and small, how to protect themselves.